Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to continue with the uh, Omron uh, yeah, what was that? Uh, Q2V drive and we are going to be doing 2-3 wire control today with a uh, revolve potentiometer check out a bit more about parameters and uh, bits like that pretty much and if you have missed the last video where we set a video commissioned the uh, not set a video commissioned the drive and uh auto tune drive and did all the all the everything that needs to be done to get this drive going and run a local mode that will be in the description below all the manuals and related videos and anything else i think would benefit you in pos any possible way check out the description below so without further ado let's get started <music> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our first station is going to be our two wire station with a uh, run forward, run reverse. And let me just actually show you the station. So that's what the station is going to look like. We're going to have an e stop, run forwards, run reverse. We're going to jog it. And we also have a potentiometer that is mighty potentiometer is 10 kilo ohm. On the manual, you can see there is a uh, they suggest it is 2 kilo ohm. So if you can't stick to that, but I believe. They don't really spe specify exactly, they just put it in exclamation marks, it's up to 20 kilo ohm potentiometer. So within that range, you should be just fine. So first thing, what I'm gonna do, there's not much parameter changes we need to a, a run this a station, except if you need to run a jump from local to remote. But let me run you through first of the wiring, as you can see a lot of wires coming out of there. So we're gonna get our head around that one first. So I have two normally closed uh, contacts in here. First one is my e-stop, uh, basically the internal safety circuit for the drive. And I'll show that later on how that works. So I have a, a HC, which is uh, zoom in. This guy HC coming to uh, this end in here and then two cables going back to H1 and H2. As this guy is, uh, this guy is pushed, as you can see, it's flashing error. So it says I ain't gonna I'm be able to run. There is two options you can have. We are gonna be using very basic like that. So uh, for not complicating, but there's a couple of ways you can control that, but that'll do. And another one, I've got a uh, V0 is coming to here, which is my uh, cable there. And then I go through this normally close contact, which are both sitting under the e-stop. And it sort of distributes the power to three switches in here. First switch got digital input one, which is my run forwards, uh, digital input two, run a reverse and digital input seven is my jog and my uh, potentiometer three cables coming out from a back of a potentiometer and they are the uh, first one goes in the a0v a second one goes to a uh, i1 and third one goes to 10 plus 10 v when it comes down to controls yeah we have made a small little change to a jog because as default jog requires run button to be on at the same time as jog button by default as you quickly show you as you probably are well aware all inputs can be programmed and there's a whole load of list of options you can do with those inputs as you can see down here for the two wire control this up here for two wire control these are the defaults for two for defaults for two wire control and anything that's got one on it, that'll be a, a default for a three wire control. So for the first, for uh, for our two wire control, as you can see, our a, uh, where is it? Uh, jog reference stands at six. Uh, but we don't want that because for that one, we need to have a run button. So what we're gonna do in here, we're gonna change that to seven and then I'll do for forward jogging. So that no longer requires a, a run signal so that's what we did and that though all those all those parameters all each every single input are in group uh, let's go for the parameter group h1 if you're going to h1 all the way to seven every single one of them can be programmed in here so for the as you can see i have selected seven for my jog so uh let's save it and it will do it jog so where can you control the, the jog frequency and jog frequency is in parameter group d bcd d1 17 
and as you can see jog stands at six hertz we aren't going to touch that for them but if you want to change it that's where you would do that so having done that only thing is left is to try it out there we go so cover is on so this is what our station is gonna uh, look like so run forward as you can see nothing's happening because we've got no frequency so so we put on the frequency as you see motor is uh, spinning if you try to put in a reverse so you can see it will come up with ef error so it just tells you you have to remove the signal so that's a reverse our jogging as you can see are at six hertz and one more time so uh, we put that in a run mode and that's our full speed and we'll turn it off that's it actually i'll show you the e stop as you can see it completely removed the power from the motor and the motor literally went in a free run to stop by itself and there's no longer power going to it so pretty good nice system and when you uh, release the switch uh, let's do that as you can see it will not restart uh, even if the run signal is still in there so you need to remove the run signal to be able to restart again and that ladies and gentlemen will be it for a uh, two a wire control so the next let's have a look at the three wire control here we go so three wire control station is in so uh, let's have a look at what that is going to look like so uh, we will have oh there we are we will have a, a stop, start, a, a direction selection button, and also we're gonna have a potentiometer as well. And of course, we are still using the e-stop. Now let's first, before we get into the parameters, we'll have a look at the controls in here. So again, as previously, the, the HC coming in here, H1, H2 returns back to, uh, back to the terminals. And then we have a uh, zero volt uh, V0 coming in uh, this contact, in, uh, contact block in here. And then it's coming out and it's leaving, going to another normally close contact, which is our uh, stop button. And the, the stop button sends the power back to a uh, digital input 2. And uh, from there on, it distributes power to other two switches. And one is the start switch, and one is the direction selection switch. And the uh, start switch is uh, a, the digital input 1 and I'll select the switch forward and reverse it is on digital input 5 and remember you still have plenty of inputs left so you for you to play to add any additional systems that would you like to do which I already show how to do and program program those uh, inputs so uh, when it comes down to a programming parameters the easiest way to do it you just initialize the drive to 3 wire control there is you can do it manually but don't, don't mess around with it. Just initialize the drive to three wire control, edit your motor parameters quickly and you'll be on your way. And of course, to do that, uh, we go to parameters, A1, A3, and then there, 333, 333, 333, enter, and it will send you to, it will initialize the drive for three wire control and all the defaults will be set in so let me quickly find if i can find that page remember what is going to default to you can easily see where the ones are added to it so uh you can see the one here oh can you see it no you can't uh ones are here so pretty much tells you which are going to be uh as you can see one one of these are default parameters for uh, the three wire control. So having said that, once you've done that, you're pretty much, once you've wired exactly like I just uh, show, you really are ready to go and ready to run it. So let me uh, put the station uh, cover on and I will show you how that works. Here we go, so the cover is on, looks like that. So the only thing we need to do, I need to make sure we are in remote mode. So you can see our frequency is already there. So let's start. Here we go. So our motor is running. Stop it. Just by clicking the stop button. If you go into run mode and then select the E stop, it will again error out. Reset it by itself. And once you're in the run mode, you can click uh, uh, one reverse. And uh, that, that was actually forwards, so and that, that is in reverse. So and obviously both will be controllable by the by the 
potentiometer. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the three wire control is uh, done. Of course, there's a lot more this drive can do. And remember, you still have fully digital inputs. You can still add the jog button. You can still add the uh, multi frequency setups. You can still add all sorts of things, whatever you wish to add. There's, there's, there's a lot of options still there for you to left. This is just to give you a good idea of how to navigate and how to set your drive for the most common applications. So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, smash that like. And if you didn't, smash the dislike, comment below. Any questions, anything you would like to discuss or ask, do not hesitate and ask them in the comment section below. And I'll answer them as soon as I can. And of course, as accurate as I possibly can. All right, that, ladies and gentlemen, well, uh, well, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.